Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We have day number one of the OTAs for the Dallas Cowboys in the books, and this is great because we've got a lot of guys that are in better shape than they were this time last year, especially one Dak Prescott uh, Dalton Schultz basically said, hey, um, it's great having Dak Prescott here throwing around as many reps as possible is a great thing, and they are definitely thinking that this is going to be a difference maker, and I have to believe that as well, that uh, definitely this will be a difference maker, having Dak being able to work out with the guys um, right now as opposed to you know, end of the summer in training camp. And Dalton Schultz, of course, who's put on some extra pounds, you know, made his body a little thicker. Let's hopefully he's worked on some of his blocking skills a little bit and um, beefing up and wanting to be here long term, wanting to get a long term deal done. Um, of course, the Dallas Cowboys are doing what they do. They're do normal due diligence while other teams are getting some things done. We heard about Denzel Ward getting a hundred million dollar contract from the Cleveland Browns with $75 million of it guaranteed. So shout out to him. Uh, that's an amazing thing. We also heard, of course, that Debo Samuels, that the San Francisco 49s have got not one but two different offers that they declined uh, that were significant offers for his services from the Jets and the Ravens uh, per rumors of da-da-da, da-da-da. Damn, Gina. Shout out to Gina for giving us those takes. Also, too, you know, it's crazy how much stuff happens with the Dallas Cowboys. You know, uh, probably the only other team that you hear a lot of, like, wild and crazy things would be the Washington Commanders away, that they've got a lot of stuff going on where the feds are trying to get Dan Snyder and, and everything else that's there. You know, you, you almost feel like it's Jerry Tartanian and, you know, the running rebels. and make, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Because you always believe that. Tark the shark, you know, that there was some mafia ties in there. And it seems like Dan Snyder, he's trying to run a business here. But be that as it may, the Dallas Cowboys, we have so many different issues that are going on. We forget. We forget about the Amari Cooper and the Randy Gregory situations and stuff. We forget about the Von Miller, you know, being teased here with Marcus Wares and things. We forget about Bobby Wagner, you know, Bobby Wagner, you know, I mean, the whole, oh, geez, boy, do we want, we want to forget about some of them. We even forget about Jerry Jones and the paternity suit, you know. Mari Povich, I, he just retired. I thought he was retired and getting ready to start a new job where he was going to decide whether or not Jerry Jones is the daddy. But we've had so much stuff that's going on, we forget about everything. And it's like your head has to be on a swivel because – it's, it's just, boom, oh, it's like, boom, oh, here we go, something else, boom, here we go, something. and you forget about it. I, I forgot about the paternity suit until just now. But Thursday, we had the whole, wow, I forgot about the honey badger too. Oh, there was rumors honey badger is going to be coming to the Cowboys. But Thursday was the bomb that got dropped with the boss man fat that we literally went through America's Most Wanted Found out, you know, he's wearing the chain. Shout out to Law Nation to, you know, finding out rules of party and if whether or not he could be charged to him talking to the police and two other people arrested for this thing to now today OTAs. Well, the good news is Kellen Joseph, a.k.a. the man I hope formerly known as Boss Man Fat. You know, like Prince was, you know, the symbol for there for a while, formerly known as Prince. Hopefully, he's now Kevin Joseph and no more Boss Man Fat, where he's focusing in on football because he was there today, day one, working out with the team. No word exactly how that went. But what I'm hoping is some of his teammates say, dude, defa. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, dude? That somebody grabs a hold of him, takes him under their wings, and says, "It's time to do right. We're going to no. We, we can't do this. We the Cowboys. We the boys. You can't do. You can't do this." And helps him to get himself together. Um, 
I have a couple of things that I'm working on too right now too. I've got to check out the numbers. But what I'm working on is actually really interesting about Dante Fowler. And, you know, of course, him being reunited with uh, Dan Quinn. Um, he's looking at getting himself back on track. And I have some interesting data that supports him actually having a really, really good season. But like I said, i got to finish getting it all together. But he's going to be doing some extra work to try and take care of soft tissue type uh, strengthening to hopefully avoid any soft tissue injuries and so on. Um, but definitely loves the fact that he's here with Dan Quinn and thinks it would be great to finish up his career here. Um, so we'll have everything that we're talking about right here and more tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys tune in because we've got to get all this stuff together. And as always, you know how much I love you guys. And I will see you guys soon. It's not penalty. It went they... all the way down to zero. They didn't call nothing. Now they're going for it again. It should be five yard penalty. Wow. What are they doing with this shit? Yeah, 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 Philly. Philly. Ain't no Philly. Wait. Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Philadelphia cream cheese. That's what I'm about to call them for well, the Philadelphia cream cheese. Fucking bullshit. Bro. Fucking <laughs> fucking red. Fucking bullshit. bullshit. It was a fucking stop the first time. Second time. Philadelphia cream cheese. And you didn't call it the late game. Oh shit. <laughs> bullshit. Oh my god, Bill. I fire his ass. Oh my god. Ain't no fucking way. Oh wow. I got hot sauce no in way. my eye. They might as well just. At this point, they might as well just kick the field goal and just oh end my the God. game. Let it run down, kick the field goal, and win the Fumble game. Fumble this shit! Fumble this motherfucker! <laughs> Philadelphia cream cheese. I got hot sauce in my eye. I got hot sauce in my eye. Don't forget, we got something special for you guys. Come Thursday night, we have a family reunion. Me, Pizzle, Philly 500. And Rio. So I hope you guys all join us there. We're going to have a ball, and you're going to see all of my wonderful kids. I just hope they don't use the potty mouth as much. I fire Howie. Fucking fire the motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass.